Hi, I'm Mike Fox from Showpad, and I'm honored to be joined by Byron Matthews, who's the president and CEO of the Miller Hyman Group. Byron, you spoke at Showtime on the importance of training technology and talent into the future of sales and marketing. Could you share some of the insight? So what's really driving the message there is the amount of disruption happening in sales organizations today, right? It's more than we've seen in decades. And again, what's really causing that is the amount of disruption that each industry is facing. And that's putting a lot more pressure on sellers. Buyers today are better at buying than sellers are getting better at selling. That's, that, that gap is increasing. Mm -hmm. And so what's happening now is a ton of innovation around sales enablement. And there's a lot of people really trying to get and trying to help sales people become more effective. One of the drivers underneath that is artificial intelligence. That is starting to re develop real applications to help your sales professional drive more efficiency and effectiveness in their process. You know, when I started my career, I saw a lot of books and articles mm -hmm. on the art of selling. Yeah. And now, in the, in the, more recently, I see more about the science of selling. Yeah. So give me your opinion. Is it art or science? Well, that's a great question. So I, I, I've had fun with that question with audiences for the last 10 years. I used to, to ask everybody, so is selling more of an art or more of a science? Actually, I used to ask it, is it an art or a science? Mm -hmm. I can't even get away with that anymore because everyone knows it's both. But the hands would have, were always more art. You ask it today, you're gonna to get a lot more science. And again, that gets back to how much more discipline has been put in the sales process. Mm -hmm. It's not looked as a black box anymore where you put a quarter and you get a dollar back, where you got compensation and training. That's the only two things you can play with. Now there's so much more. And what's more is all about the more data. We can learn more about how we go to market, when we go to market, with what message, what works, what doesn't, what behaviors. And it's all that insight that's actually turning into sales effectiveness initiatives and ways to improve sales performance. So the more we're getting transparency into how organizations are behaving and executing, we're getting more science into the entire system. You talk about technology. What do you see as the technologies that are going to have an increasing importance in the, the selling and buying experience? Yeah, there's so many. Within sales enablement, I, I think there's some basic stuff that will pick up so much more traction in, in the short term. Things around content, right? The, the, the big rush out there today, if you think about the evolution of solution selling. I mean, solution selling born in the, in the 70s, quite frankly, Miller Hyman pioneered that concept. The reality is that as a selling model has evolved. It's not good enough just to show up and ask a good question. Everyone's doing that, mm -hmm. right? I mean, yes, understanding their needs are important, but you now have to differentiate the way you sell is a differentiator. So, providing insights, educating your customer. That's what creates differentiation. That's how you win. Well, you need content. What are you educating them on? How are you providing insights? Mm -hmm. So providing real-time content that's customized for that moment to the rep, being able to use it, that's the key. A lot of innovation around technology, that's really driving quite a bit of success right now. Sure, and so it's really where Showpad plays. Exactly. You know, what have you seen with Showpad? Well, just that. I mean, I think that I think there's a huge demand for this idea of, again, turning reps into content marketers. I think Showpad, the technology, the platform, the user experience is a perfect way to do that. So, you know, when I started my career, salespeople, the sales experience, selling and buying was really a face-to-face -face interaction mm. in the end. And so now with buyers having so much more interaction with AI coming in, new technologies, is there still room for face-to-face? -face? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, there's a lot of technology out there today around even web conferencing app applications that have AI engines built underneath that to be your coach as you're actually having interactions, mm. um, you know, remotely. So, listen, I, I think... The, the, the reality is that there's 26 or so million salespeople out there today. There's all this discussion around, well, what's AI going to do and reduce the number of salespeople? I actually don't think that. I think it'll be a transformation. I think it'll be a, a, a placement. I don't think, I think there'll be, you know, 10, 15% of jobs today that typically sales do that no longer exist where technology will mm -hmm. take its place, but they'll get redistributed. That human capital will get redistributed in other areas like deeper account management. You know, more, you know, deeper um, um, deployment of human capital to grow, protect and grow accounts. So I just think it's going to be a shift with, with talent mm -hmm. re re related to how AI is going to impact. So when we think selling. about the, with that shift coming, 
How do sales and marketing people prepare themselves for kind of how to be effective in their career now and yeah, in the future? Yeah, that is the question. I mean, I, I really believe that the profile of a sales professional today will not look like the profile mm -hmm. of a sales professional tomorrow. Part of that is such a technology-rich environment will require different skills and a, a diff, a, a different competencies around how you take use technology, how you use data, how you turn that into insights. Now, if you look at the EQ, IQ battle, I think today your typical salesperson heavies more on EQ. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a, pr a, a, a primary driver. Where of course IQ is important. I think tomorrow that shifts. I think you know the IQ becomes even more important. Mm -hmm. How do you process data? How do you add insights? How do you take this piece of information, this piece of information, bundle it together, provide it to the customer? Now of course, providing it to the customer, handling objections. You know, being able to influence, all that's still going to be important, mm -hmm. but there's going to be a more emphasis on some of these other competencies that sales organizations need to start thinking about that now. You need to think about what does my sales look force look like in five, ten years from now? Because when you talk about talent, that is not an easy transformation. Sure, certainly. Well, I want to thank you for being part of Showtime. And I appreciate your time with us here today. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mike.